Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So in the previous videos, so far we learned how we can create um, drop downs, inputs, buttons, uh, components, and how we can add them to your design system. Also, if you want to check out the playlist on how to create a complete design system from scratch, where you can add these type of inputs and buttons, also effects, um, and use variables, which is the Figma's latest feature and basically to create color tokens and typography system and color palette make sure to check out the playlist down in the description and i don't want this video to get super long so let's go right ahead in this tutorial on this video i'm going to show you how you can create a um, checkbox and use it and add it to your components so you can use it in your design system and as you can see, as always, I have pre prepared my sheet so I can see what what needs to be created. First, we need to create a checkbox icon in different states. Then that actually checkbox component that we can use that and create a checkbox item, which is going to be a bigger component. And this way, our component system is going to be more modular and easier to handle, which is going to be exciting. All right. Uh, Real quick, real quick, let's go right ahead and create this one. First, I'm going to find the checkbox icon. As you can see, I've searched for it already. And I'm going to find this one and add it here. What I'm going to do is create a frame out of it. Actually, let's go ahead and create an auto layout. So I'm going to hit Shift A on keyboard. Make sure it's center aligned. Zero all the values but I'm gonna give it, actually I'm gonna reduce the size of my icon to 20 by 20. And then what I'm gonna do is just, um, for now I'm gonna give the checkbox a fixed width and height. It's gonna be 40, 24 by 24. I'm gonna create a component out of it. I'm gonna call it checkbox. Let's go ahead and create our first property. It's gonna be variant. The name is going to be selected. And now let me increase the size of this one. All right. I'm going to duplicate it. Actually, before doing so, let's give it the background color so it has um, the default state. It's going to be surface um, subtle, something like that. And I don't want to be. I, I don't want my checkbox on this design system to be this um, sharp. So I'm going to give it a corner radius from my variables again. Six is okay. I'm going to duplicate it and give it a, the state on uh, true. So this one is false. Let's name it false. And this one's true. But for the false one, I don't need the checkbox. So I'm going to delete it. Since we have the fixed height and width, it's gonna stop, you know, stay the same in size, so that's cool. And let's go ahead and style it. It's the surface color is gonna be actually primary, so I'm gonna find it primary. I'm gonna change the icon title to negative, something like that. All right, now we have created our first um, state. Let's go ahead and create the next one. I'm going to add another variant. By the way, this is going to again be Boolean. It's going to be indeterminate. Right? It's going to be false first. And I'm just going to copy this one. So here. Actually, since um, they cannot be the same at the same time, so I'm going to change it to false and make this one true. And for indeterminate, I need an icon for the uh, actually it's going to be a line icon I don't think I have it in my um, icon library so I'm going to write, go right ahead and create it myself I'm going to set the corner radius to fill set the color to negative cut it paste it here I'm going to delete these and 2 by 12 yep that's okay all right, now we have created up to here. Let's go with the next one. It's gonna be the state. So let's create our variant. It's gonna be called state. 
the first one is going to be default so default is okay let's increase the width of the component a little bit and then what I'm going to do is just duplicate it horizontally so I can easily make sure they align good this state is going to be hover for the hover one for the unselected one I'm going to choose default light so I added this recently to my surface colors so you can easily add it basically to your variables from the primitive colors that you already created on variables all right so this is the hover state for these two i'm gonna go with surface default dark something like that for the next one again i'm gonna duplicate the first one because we're gonna go from default state to focus so focus for the focused one actually i'm gonna add the stroke it's gonna be from outside I'm gonna bump up the stroke to four something like that or three yeah three is okay but four yeah I'm gonna change the stroke color for the active one actually the, the ones that have primary color to let's find border it's gonna be default subtle all right and for this one the border is gonna be border grayscale and default something like that all right now what i'm gonna do is um i'm gonna create the next state which is gonna be the disabled one so i'm gonna duplicate it right here and for the disabled one i'm just gonna uh, set the opacity to 40. sorry it's gonna be i need to name it first disabled you can see it here then I'm gonna hit four on keyboard to set the opacity to 40. Or that's way too um, translucent. Let's go with 50. Yep, that's better. All right, then what I'm gonna do is just create the size. Size. The default one is gonna be small. And I'm gonna duplicate these. Set the size to medium. And I'm going to change the fixed height on width to 32. All right. Set the corner radius to 8. Yep. And set the icon size to 24. Also, I'm going to change the indeterminate one to. So it's going to be 4 by 16, I guess. Maybe. No. 3 by 16. Yep, that's better. Um, it's a little bit too thick, but maybe 2.5. Yeah, 2.5 is okay. It's way better than the 3. All right, now we have our medium one. Let's go ahead and create the large one, which is, which is just going to be gigantic because it's going to have 40 pixels by 40 pixels. And I'm going to increase the border radius actually to 12. I know that can, that is a little bit too rounded, but yeah, which is okay. I, I'm okay with it. So you can change it to anything you want, but I'm okay with it. And we're going to change the um, yep, something like that. And now let's create the auto layer from this one so we can manage the spacing. But in order to do that, I want to group them in a way. Yeah, that's not possible right now because they're, they have different sizes. Anyhow, I think we can manage it like by sizing it like this. But yeah, that's it how you can create your um, checkbox icon on Figma and add it to your components. So what I'm going to do is just align it a little bit better. Bump this one up a little bit, maybe 20. I'm going to do the same with these ones. So I'm going to hit command shift 
I mean command option on keyboard or control alt sorry on Windows is going to be control shift so yeah and make sure it's going to be alt control on MacBook again alt control to align them by 20 by 20 all right let's go ahead and use this I'm going to find checkbox I'm going to group this component easier so you can find it. So right now, if I want the checkbox to be selected, I just hit the switch. Voila. If we want it to be indeterminate, I'm going to just hit the switch. Right? I can change the state to hover. I can change the state to focused. And I can, at the same time, remove these ones. Right? I can make it disabled. And at the same time, make sure they are selected. I can change the size to medium, large. And actually for the large one, let's go ahead and increase the size of icon a little bit. It's going to be 32 by 32. Yep. As well as these, this one. So it matches better. It's going to be 20 in width and 3 in height. All right. That's it for the part one of this video on how you can create a checkbox component. In the next video, we'll learn how we can create a checkbox item, which is going to be a super advanced one. And we're going to have a lot of items here. So make sure to subscribe to my channel so you can follow and hit the bell. So you get a notification when I upload a new video. And um, yeah, make sure, also make sure to follow the other videos to understand how you can create a design system. As well as a like would be a really help for me. And also, please uh, leave a comment below on what you think. And I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.